people have been today pulled out alive from the rubble of the collapsed building in Huroma. A woman who was rescued in the morning is said to have called out for help when the rescue team got close to where she was buried in the debris. The rescue brings to 140 the number of survivors from the tragedy. 68 people are still missing. KTN's Sharon Momani begins our coverage tonight. Day six on the multi-agency search and rescue mission at the collapsed Huruma building site continues. Two excavators are present at the site, very carefully digging up and lifting away the rubble. A very delicate task as the rescue team cares not to injure any possible survivors still buried in the ruins. And as such, just a little before 10 a.m. Thursday morning, the efforts would star hope to the rescue team and to those still hoping to see their loved ones pull out of the rubble. Yeah. Upon getting to a particular level of the debris, the rescuers heard a woman calling out for help, pleading not to be pounded by the machines. Immediately, the rescue team would draw all resources and tactics to save the woman, a delicate mission that and successful. Alive, she emerged, warming hearts by the very miracle it appeared. Six days buried, but alive. And within five minutes of giving the IV fluids, together with drugs and oxygen, she was stable. And the operation which took so long to remove her to retrieve her from where she was, by that time she was so stable, she was talking to us. As a Thursday evening, three more people were rescued, a man, his wife, and another lady. This is a miracle and a half. I don't know whether it's a miracle and a half, but it's a miracle. When I say you come... Many have been asking why the search and rescue mission is taking so long, worrying that it reduces the chances of live rescues. But as the officials explain, it is a very delicate mission, with the team being extra careful and engaging safe strategies while drilling in order not to injure or kill anyone that could be buried alive. As a Thursday night, 139 people had been retrieved alive. 36 people confirmed dead and 68 missing from the incident. We are using uh, different strategies. We are just about to do it, but we want to allow uh, uh, to, to request you, you'll move at a distance up there so that we can uh, remove these debris, uh, bring them uh, uh, this side to create more room. While this happens, evacuation is still ongoing for many of the houses around this area, a number of which have since been marked for demolition. Officials are, however, warning the public of conmen using the calamity to dupe people. There are some people who, who, who are acting as victims of this incident to get money uh, 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 just uh, uh, to steal, for example. Uh, some people have been arrested by the police. And so the drilling, the plowing, the lifting continues. The rescue of the seven-month-old baby, the woman, and three others alive, shining a light of hope in the continuing mission. Sharon Momani, KTN News.